my dearest mother. I received your letter yesterday evening before lights out, and I read it over and over again. It's short, it's just a few words, but it's so emotional and heartrending. My heart aches to read it. I miss you too, Mom. People are wrong to say you don't need a mother when you're an adult. I remember everything about how you raised Andre and me, how you wanted us to grow up to be decent people. Right now, it is very important for me that you remain healthy and that you remain joyful for your children and your grandchildren. It happened as you planned. You brought Andre and me up. Well, nobody will ever dare accuse your sons of being thieves or crooks. On the contrary, I was sent to prison precisely because I told the truth, and I encouraged others not to make peace with bullies. Mom, had I not re led the revolution in Lida, I probably would never have been able to respect myself. And if you no longer respect yourself, how can you expect others to respect you? Whoever would respect us, Belarusians, if no single person among the 135,000 people who live in Lida had been willing to take on the responsibility of rising up in defense of the truth. Mom, people, Belarusians, people all over the world, respect me. You raised me correctly. <laughs> I receive so many letters of support, I'm hardly able to answer them all. Yesterday evening alone, I received 17 letters. People send telegrams. The whole world is proud of us and supports us. I hear from Catholic priests in Minsk and Vitebsk who wish me a happy Easter and they write to me of their admiration and support for our refusal to make peace with lies. Mom, people respect me. <laughs> you raised me right. I am certain that people on the streets of Berezovka say the very same things to you. Remember, Mom, make no mistake, I will come home. Be strong, Mom. Have faith. I will not spend five years in prison. <laughs> Change is coming. It will bring freedom to me and it will bring me home to you. Remember, Mother. I will come home. Big, big hugs. Your son, Vitold.